My name is uh, Gary Whittet. I'm Professor of Medicine at the University of Adelaide and uh, we have a research centre situated in the nutrition theme on level 7 at the South Australian Institute of Health and Medical Research uh, where we are focused on nutrition. So we know that the uh, group of the population most at risk uh, of type 2 diabetes are men over the age of 50. It's particularly those men that are overweight or obese or have a family history and usually it's both. But we also learned from some of the work that we've been doing in a cohort we've been studying, so a group of the population we follow living in the northwestern suburbs, that of those men, it's the ones we find who have low testosterone that are most likely to progress and get the diabetes. So the study was set up to ask the question, okay, we know that if we have um, uh, an appropriate diet, if we can get some weight off, if we can get people to exercise, we can prevent diabetes. But is there a role for testosterone? It's kind of hard for people to maintain diet and exercise for um, one year, let alone for two years. And the experience of 95% of people is that although they can get the weight off, they struggle to maintain it. Also, um, we, we understand that um, men who have um, low testosterone may also feel unmotivated. And, and many of the men, because they've got um, poorer health and, and, and a whole range of, of health problems may also struggle to get the motivation to participate in these lifestyle programs. And so one of the things we're trying to understand is if we give people testosterone, is there a possibility that that may improve motivation to engage in the lifestyle program? And of course we can look at all these things. So does testosterone confer a benefit? Is it because it's improving motivation and drive? Uh, has it got something more fundamental to do with glucose metabolism? Is it body composition and so on? So we're going to get answers to those questions. We're going to enroll, hopefully at the end of the day, over a thousand men. Um, we're sort of around 750 now, so uh, we'll be recruiting till the end of the year. And, uh, and we hope that uh, all of the men in Australia in the age group will, will come and uh, have a go.